I look like a mess today, I'm aware, but my Montgomery Gator earrings came in the mail. Behold, behold the magnificence. Amazing, stunning, obsessed, love them. Oh my gosh. This is from the Etsy store Tokyo Charms and they have a bunch of other Five Nights at Freddy's inspired um, earrings and go check them out. I will link these specific ones in the description box below. Look at me plugging it in. This cardigan um, is always very comical to me because it has pointy shoulders. Look at this. A cardigan this soft should not have pointy shoulders. Doesn't make sense. I love the silhouette, but it just doesn't make, it's, it's unique and it makes me laugh for some reason. Also, there is a 99.9% .9 chance that I will be wearing my Montgomery Gator earrings for the rest of the week, so prepare to see that. I'm just about to hit publish on a weekly vlog, which was the weekly vlog from last week, all of last week's nonsense. Publish. Whee! And now you can see it live. Usually I like to have the weekly vlogs ready um, by the end of the day on Monday and have them scheduled to go live for Tuesday mornings, but my husband wanted to watch a movie, so we watched Moana, so I was spending quality time with my husband. Thank God I only have like 12 people who will actually watch these things. So to you 12, sorry I'm late on this one, but you the real ones out there. You the real champs. Not much else going on except class. I got class this evening. And those are my sentiments about that class. It's really just not an entertaining class. It's just not. Like I seriously will probably be working on my nails during class because I don't pay attention. It's one of those classes where one out of every 20 words that the professor says is actually useful. So yeah. Y'all, I almost burnt my grilled cheese, so that's pretty upsetting. Also, we ran out of like cheese slices, so I had to use like the blocks of cheese that we have, and yeah, that's not gonna, I'm not sure how this is gonna work out, but she's there, I guess, and I have, I still have chicken noodle soup from Saturday, when I made this, this past Saturday. Having like a ridiculous amount of soup rating for you is actually so good. Honestly, everyone should live their lives having a big pot of soup waiting for them in the fridge. All right, so I am just about ready to do some makeup testing for um, a shoot that I have on Friday for a big project for school. So I gotta, I gotta test out this guy so I can know what to do on Friday with the talent. Can we also take a moment to appreciate that this stage blood says zesty mint on it. What the flip does that mean? What the heck does that mean? I have no idea. Zesty mint blood. Wow, that's like a vampire's dream. Okay, but this is low key. Not that bad considering I haven't done any kind of stage makeup in years. I think I did too much with the eye wrinkle. I don't know what this was. I th obviously, I've been watching too much JoJo because they have the the cut, if you, the facial cut. And then this wax sucks. Like, I don't know how to get it to blend to my actual skin tone. Otherwise, it's not, it's not horrible. It's really not. I mean, I nailed the tired eye. Oh my God, I didn't put the, didn't put powder. <gasps> I'm supposed to set with powder before putting on blood. Well, I just got back home. It was chilly, but I had so many layers on, so many layers on. I don't know how I accomplished all these layers without ruining my Montgomery Gator earrings. But for real though, my back feels sweaty. Like, it feels like, ew. <laughs> it feels like I did too good of a job bundling myself up. 
All right, I am changed and comfy and ready to show with you, ready to show you guys the spoils of my adventures. So let's start first with Brookline Brooksmith. So for one, I finally found the dang Rolling Stone, the February Rolling Stone with Raul Alejandro. I have no idea how to explain to you the biggest headache it has been trying to get my hands on this because it has been eluding me for a whole month. Is, is he ashy or is this, what's wrong with this? I think there's something wrong with like the printing cause yeah, the printing's feeling a little crusty. I think there's something there. But yes, I finally found him. I found Raul Alejandro, goodness freaking gracious. And then I also picked up The Vanishing Half by Britt Bennett, which I have been wanting this for a while, but I've been waiting for this, for it to come out on paperback because the hardcover, she was a little big. I was not really feeling it. I was like, I think I can wait for the paperback to come out. And I went to the bookstore, boom, they had it. They had this, oh my gosh. I snatched a copy so freaking fast. I am so excited to finally read this. And then I also picked up The Little Friend by Donna Tartt. Um, this has been on my one to read list for a while. I realized that my dining table needs a little bit of work. I've been wanting to read this one for a while and I just had like this sense of like, mm, you should pick this book up soon. So this was very fruitful bookstore adventure. This is candle wax, by the way, which I cannot seem to get off this table. I swear I try to take good care of my stuff. Anyways, I just, the universe told me like, go to the bookstore, go to Brookline Brooksmith, go there. And they had the magazine I've been wanting, the paperback I've been wanting, and the to read that I've been wanting. Look at that, I got crumbs. Where, where are these crumbs coming from? Oh my gosh. These books haven't been in my home for half an hour and they're already getting messy. What the heck? I swear I'm better than this. The moral of the story here is that the universe took great care of me today. It gave me the intuition to go to the bookstore and they had, lo and behold, everything that I wanted. Amazing. I also picked up, ooh, look what I got in here. Some donuts. There's a tiramisu donut and a chai glazed donut in here. And these are from Union Square Donuts, which I'm not sure if they always had a Brookline location, but I passed by it on my way to the bookstore. And when I was walking back, I decided, yes, let me grab some. And then on my way back home, I also stopped by TJ Maxx, um, mostly for candles. So I got two of the Manly Indulgence ones. So Vintage Oak and Warm Beach Wood. And I love these candles because they have a nice wood wick. So lighting one of these bad boys is a whole experience. So I was running low on candles and got some more. And then a kitchen sink strainer because the one we have now is broken. So I had a nice walk, went to my favorite places, picked up some nice things, and I'm ready to just chill out and enjoy my home. Oh, by the way, the uh, shoot that was supposed to happen today that I was alluding to earlier in the week, now that got postponed. So that got postponed until the 12th, which only gives us about two weeks to slam down and edit. Um, but honestly, I'm fine with it because I I feel like we were not prepared to film today anyways, um, which is the case because we got postponed. So since the shoot no longer happened today, that's why I was like, ooh, let me have an adventure. Something's telling me to go to the bookstore. I went to the bookstore and the bookstore treated me so good today. Mm -hmm. Whee! So tiramisu donut with mascarpone filling. Then a chai glazed donut. Yeah. I'm done with this awful bag of chips. I wouldn't recommend this. It's like the lime does something to it. 